So for most of my outdoor backpacking cooking, which is about the only cooking I do, I use isobutane unless I have to use liquid fuel. So I've uh, been using the jet boil system initially when I first started backpacking back in like 2007 or something like that. So uh, or for, anyway, uh, this was the original stove. It's a, a relic now. It, let's see here, what is the way? The old style stove was uh, 6.1 ounces, this little beast, and it uh, is considerably slower than the new updated stove that they have here, which is the Jetboil Flash, and also when you buy a Sumo, you get the same style stove, and it's, uh, it is 3.6 ounces, so it's nearly half the weight. Um, back in 2011, I was trying to figure out a better way to uh, boil water a little faster, so I started using a Soto stove right here, and I uh, modified a jet boil, standard jet boil cup to uh, put some slats in it for the pot stabilizers, and uh, greatly improved the boil time. We used this system for two years. Obviously, it's a little charred. It's seen better days on its little coat there, but uh, it would boil in roughly, I just tested it again, it would boil 16 ounces of water in one minute and 30 five seconds, which here we're essentially at sea level two or three hundred feet is pretty good. Um, when I did 16 ounces of water with uh, this guy, it was almost double or it was three minutes and 17 seconds. When I boiled water with the, uh, the new style stove, it was two minutes and 18 seconds. So it's uh, definitely sped things up. Uh, however, I just acquired the, uh, the new style Soto, which I'll show you what's basically new about it, but uh, with the Sumo, and with the Sumo being wider and having a larger surface area to uh, collect the heat, it will it uh, improve the boil time by only, by only six seconds, which is not that big of a reason to upgrade to a Sumo or the, the Soto stove in itself. Um, all all uh, 16 boils, or all 16 ounce boils from all four stoves only use seven or eight grams, which of fuel, which is or six or seven grams, which is pretty good for, for what I think they need. Um, but when we start going up to 32 ounces, which I was using this Sumo here and here pretty much, and just trying to compare how the jet oil compares to the Soto heads up, I have modified the, my current Sumo to accept the three prong jet oil or Soto. So, um the when you use the jet well stove with the sumo um it came out to uh four minutes and 17 seconds and it used 12 grams of fuel which if you're having two meals that comes out to six grams per person whereas the the soda with the sumo came out to three minutes and five seconds so that's roughly 40 percent faster or it takes 40 percent longer for the uh jet boil to boil 32 ounces uh, one other thing, just for fun, I you can fill this up with 48 or 3 uh, Mountain House meal, or 6 cups essentially, and you still have about a 1 inch of freeboard, which is, if you're watching it and don't let it boil over, it won't be an issue. If you walk away from it, it could be a little bit exciting, but uh, anyway, three, 48 ounces took 4 minutes and 40 seconds, and it took 18 grams of fuel, which is, again, 6 ounces, or 6 grams, took 18 grams of fuel, which is six ounces per person again. So you're not getting diminishing returns as of yet, which is what I was curious to see. So anyway, these boil times are at, like I said, roughly sea level. If you guys up in the Rockies are up at 6,000 feet or 8,000 feet where you live, you obviously would see quicker boil times, but this is pretty much the worst case scenario for as far as sea level. Obviously I'm in a house at 70 degrees in here. These canisters are all, um, pretty warm. It'd be interesting to see. I need to probably throw these canisters in the freezer. Before you accuse me of cheating the system, I use the same canister with all the boils, just like so keep keep a running tab on how of the usage in. You're all burning the same gas. So one thing I do like about the jet boil, especially for Becca and I, since we like to eat at the same time, and I don't want to have to wait for her first and then have mine. Uh, we really like the sumo because we can boil two cups of or two servings of Mountain House at the same time. 
uh, but obviously it was taking over four minutes with the jet boil stove and now we're going to be right around three minutes so it speeds things up a little bit and uh, the best thing is though uh, the jet boil obviously is larger or the sumo is so we can put um, these large fuel canisters go right inside here so which is pretty nice um, also we you put our cups in here so um, they stack in there pretty nicely we put one upside down one up top and then put the fuel canister in the stove in there and it all goes together typically you can only put a standard jet boil you can only put these 100 ounces in there so um, then you're carrying another one outside so it's kind of nice just to have, give you give you some options another thing to look at if you're primarily hunting with another person like I am I'm usually having Becca along if I'm not I'm usually have someone another guy that's going along with me trying to help him or he help me get, get an animal so just makes things a little bit quicker it's nice to be able to eat at the same time and not have to wait and also if you're just cooking oatmeal that only takes you know, 16 ounces for both of you and then you can still have coffee so there's enough water for coffee or tea or cider or whatever so just boils a lot of water faster basically so I'm pretty excited about it so this will be the setup I'm using this pretty much all all hunt season so should be a little faster and a little bit more efficient than what was going on over here so so one thing I didn't sh touch on was the uh, upgrade from the old Soto to the new style which is called the Wind Master I believe Soto Wind Master uh, one thing you can see as I cut slats in these uh, jet boils to accept the three prong um, is where the burner sits. This one sits clearly below even the bottom of the uh, flux ring there and even the housing so it's, the flame's got a longer way to go to get up to start boiling the, the bottom of the pot to boil the water. Also you can see it's, the burner itself is convex and uh, more susceptible to wind than, than what the, the new style which as you can see it is closer the burner is pretty much even with the bottom there rather than about a half inch below which I gotta believe helps but the main thing why they call this the wind master is because the burner itself when you, when you compare to this old style soto the burner itself is recessed and also concave which is supposed to make it a little bit better for in the wind and the fact that it's going to be up underneath the jet boil housing should help as well so hopefully it's going to be an improvement all the way around uh, these stoves themselves weigh 2.3 ounces which is quite a bit lighter than the the original jet boil 6.1 ounces and even the uh, new jet boil flash with all the plastic hanging off of it comes in at 3.6 so you're saving an, over an ounce right there anyway which isn't huge but every little bit helps so anyway there you got it.